Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Tuesday, May 9th, 2017. Let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. If you're a dyed in the wool bodybuilding fan, then it doesn't get much better than last weekend, because it was absolutely loaded with action all over the map including another barn burner down in Johannesburg, South Africa at the second annual Arnold Classic South Africa. In the men's open division, a spectacular version of Johnny Jackson came in and stole the show on the way to earning what might have been the biggest win of his pro career. Second place finisher Michael Lockett was awesome in his own right, bringing the best overall look of his career thus far. And in third place, our old friend Juan Morel continued to build his resume with another solid outing. Over on the fitness side of things, a dominant performance from Regina De Silva was enough to earn her yet another victory, edging out a strong effort from third-year standout Darina Wilson. And closing out the top three in spectacular fashion was Brazil's Diana Montero. Now we flash over to the left coast, where master promoter John Lindsay once again put on another spectacular round of men's physique competition out at the California Night of Champions, where emerging star Long Wu added yet another victory to his rapidly expanding resume. In second place, we saw the Redondo Beach bad boy Aria Safi continue his strong 2017 campaign, holding off a solid effort from third place finisher Jeremy Coleman. In fourth place, we saw 2016 USA champ Brad Albertson have his best pro outing yet, and closing out the top five was third-year pro Tony Duong, who brought in what was probably the best look we've seen to date. One of the biggest events of the weekend went down out in the Steel City as the stars came out in droves to support another fantastic few days of action at the Jim Mannion Pittsburgh Pro. In the Classic Physique Division, former North American champ Chris Bumstead came back to a place where it all started to collect another win by delivering a truly awesome performance. In Men's Physique, hometown kid Ray Edmonds continued his hot streak and brought home the win in one of the deeper lineups we've seen this season. In figure third-year pro Andrea Pollard came from nowhere to take home the crown at what may have been the biggest shocker of the entire show. And what turned out to be a very deep and talented group of bikini girls, it was a brilliant Michelle Sylvia who managed to emerge from the fray as the evening's big winner. Down here on the beautiful shores of West Palm Beach, Florida, we also had plenty of action in the bikini division. Down at another jam-packed edition of the Florida Grand Prix, where red-hot Romina Basualdo came in and completely crushed a lineup loaded with talent from top to bottom. In second place, we saw Catherine Radulik put together her best look of the young season, holding off a noteworthy effort from third place finisher and the evening's master bikini champ, Juliana Halloran. Fourth place was brought home by Miami's own Angie Garcia, and closing out the top five was second year pro Aria Adami. When I look across the board in bodybuilding and try to figure out what it is that separates the good athletes from the great ones, it always boils down to one thing, consistency. And a few weeks from now, we'll have a chance to see if a whole lot of off-season consistency will pay off in spades for rising junior USA hopeful Charles Williams. Coming off a very solid off-season program that saw him pack on a ton of new quality muscle, Last year's Kentucky Muscle Light Heavyweight Champ is gunning to make an impact at the Midsummer Showdown. Williams is one of those guys with that elusive combination of round sweeping muscle bellies and an ultra small waist that just jumps out at you from the moment he sets foot on stage. And if he can pull all this together when it counts, this kid has a chance to come out and do some serious damage.